Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Cursed Falling here, and we're here with some more Shadowverse. Uh, I decided to finally branch out to another craft, so I'm testing out um, Bloodcraft as of right now, and I kind of enjoy it. It's 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 pretty decent pretty much how it works is you pretty much do a lot of damage to yourself or attack yourself many times in order to get a kind of boost for your other cards and depending on how much time many times you hurt yourself or how much damage you do to yourself you can rather use your vengeance or some other special effect that in my opinion is pretty much OP um so I definitely like this video uh, this this game because you'll see how even though damaging yourself makes the game look very bleak in a sense um, it can actually easily turn things around like I think having low HP for any craft is kind of a burden but with this one it's kind of not a burden it's just, it's really crazy um I did lose a few games learning how to play except one game I definitely should have won but some chick decided to pull out the heart of the cards and destroy my shit like it was crazy but um yeah, I was going against Havencraft of all things, so I should definitely know what they have in their deck. What she had in her deck was pretty much a concoction of a Tenko freaking Holy Lion Machina. And then the one card that like screwed me over was this neutral card that allows someone to evolve for zero. That one card single-handedly obliterated my entire chances of winning. I didn't even see it coming. I would have never saw that coming. But anyway, um, yeah, so the ability that I, uh, card you just saw that destroyed pretty much everyone, including herself at the end of that attack, was uh, really cool because, like, once you evolve her, she does damage depending on the number of times you've hurt yourself. But I feel like they need to reword the, uh, <laughs> the, um, the, the, the sentence structure, I guess, because it says it does damage based on the number of times your leader was damaged. But that doesn't count for when they damage your leader. So it, like, annoys me low-key. But, um... Like, if it says damaged on your turn or etc. Like, anything like that, I would understand. But, like, I don't know. But this is a really good game. As y'all can see, I'm, like, really low. And then, bam. For funsies, I did that to make it perfect. And get a perfect zero. I could have just hit the five character and then attack. And that would have just negative. I was like, nah, let me get it perfect and do that. But... And on to the next game, I'm going with Dragoncraft, and y'all know how much I hate Dragoncraft, so that's, um, yeah, I hate Dragoncraft. Anyway, so, but I, I don't believe that this person abused Kokaitis at all. I'm not even sure if she played it, and it was a nice person, like, they come in, they greet me, it was fun, so I greeted back, you know. Um, other thing is, I don't think, even if I do get a new leader for Bloodcraft, I don't think I will ever change it, only because I like watching, like, like back in the day, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and you know they had like the foot soldiers, the foot clan or whatever, and... <laughs> when he comes in he's just like prepare for a defeat and then the way he says it it's like prepare for a defeat and i'm just like yeah this is funny but anyway enough of my dumb humor um back into this game though uh it was pretty much uh on off type of damaging practice i would guess you would say i was doing 
but I was pretty much doing everything in my power to get as many cards in and as damage myself as many times as possible and it just kind of worked out in the long run the way that this was working but um yeah it wasn't looking really good early game because you know he got his field pretty much full and mines wasn't for real but this card here is actually very good I really like this card. Um, she reduces damage to me by z to zero, and at the same time, she reduces damage to herself by two. You must subtract two from the damage dealt, and so I was able to take that person out without losing any defense. And we also have these fun people. Also, I did not appreciate that at all. I ain't. Everyone tends to have the right cards. They have a lot of destroy cards and they use them and then they somehow can play multiple other things at once. I'm not 100% sure but I do know I hate Dragoncraft just because they can also give back play points that they've been used. It's annoying. It's like going against the Holy Lions with extra play points. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me sometimes. But um... They were doing really good. Uh, it was pretty much a even for real to me. Um, but I, of course, I am not going to put an L on the game. I should put one L on this game. I might. I might actually show y'all that Havencraft game I was talking about earlier because I'm not going to lie. I mean, I was more than likely at a disadvantage, but right when I thought I could actually take the lead, that just made me quit I legit hit the quit button it was it was a shame like I just knew at that point <laughs> at that moment I was like let's see if I get some harder cards thing I think I drew just to see what I get and if it wasn't anything that could save me I was just like yeah it's a wrap I'm not even gonna attempt it but like this is a pretty fun game and I really don't like that character I don't understand why it's that powerful like that is not fun whatsoever to go against but perfectly enough i ended up getting this and i was just like all right i can do that and do that and then just pop the dark general with storm and end her life but yeah i'm not gonna add that other video but i hope y'all enjoyed watching this video i hope y'all learned something i'll be with y'all next time peace out